This is Jai Chakraborty. I'm a current student of Georgia Tech OMSCS program. This semester, I'm taking the course of Big Data Analytics for Healthcare. Today, I will present you my project report on predicting mortality in IC using big data technologies. Before going into the details, let me give you some background and the context for my project. My project was inspired by the work done by Kasemi, Bremer, Norman, and others on mortality modeling in ICU. Their paper was published on 2014. The groundbreaking part of their work was to combining the baseline feature with time-varying latent topic features extracted from free text clinical notes. They used MIMIC2 dataset. The result they achieved was 0.85 of ROC area under curve for in-hospital mortality predictions, which itself was extremely high. The main objective of my project was to re-implement whatever they have done using a big data technology. I use MIMIC3 database, which has much a uh, larger number of patients, like around 46,000. One of my goals was to create a solution framework which is highly scalable, configurable, and reusable. And my other goal was to achieve a similar or better performance relative to the work that has been done previously. The main workflow for this project consists of 14 core steps. It starts with loading the MIMIC data into PostgreSQL, then applying some techniques to remove bad character and noises, extracting and deriving the features from the static data, collecting all the clinical notes. I excluded all the discharge notes as it has been discarded also in the previous work. Then I apply some earlier modeling to retrieve top 50 topic distributed over all patients, applied scalar transformation to the feature set. Then I combine different type of features. Then I split the data into training and test sets then train the model using a linear SBM classification algorithm and finally collecting the results and metrics. The SAP score is calculated in this project using the Postgres materialized view provided along with the MIMIC code base. The simplified acute physiology score, also known as SAPS, is a measure of patient severity of illness during first day in hospital typically. Similarly, the comorbidities from ICD-9 billing cores are also derived using Alex Hauser quant materialized view provided as part of MIMIC code base. The LDA algorithm, which is also known as EMLDA optimizer, which is an expectation maximizing algorithm to infer latent topic of top 50 nodes of all patients. And then I calculated the proportional distribution of each topic for different patients. The time varying event, which was introduced in this project but not part of Gesemi's work, were extracted from the lab, diagnosis and medication or prescription data using a prediction window of 30 days and observation window of 2000 days as used during some of our previous assignments. The prediction outcomes that I set for these projects are in hospital, 30 day and one year post discharge. I combined baseline features along with time varying events and the latent topic features from clinical notes. I set separate linear SVM uh, which was trained for each of these three outcomes. Now let's discuss the results or outcome of running this model over entire MIMIC3 dataset. I followed the industry standard practice of splitting the data into 70% to 30% for the training set to testing set. I used ROC area under the curve as my measuring metric. The three key highlights of the results are the time varying events from medication, diagnostics, and lab results are those which has not been used by Gasemi actually helped in this case to boost the performance, which is definitely a new finding, along with the latent topic feature from free clinical notes, which definitely also improved the performance as claimed by the previous work. The AUC in, in ICU always provides better performance than the 30 days and one year post discharge because of availability of the clinical nodes during in hospital stay. While plotting the various model results in a relative chart, it clearly shows that the, ret uh, the retrospective results always beats the rest because of its obvious reason as pointed out by the previous work. The technology that I use is a PostgreSQL. I use Apache Spark 2.0 and HDFS as file system. Scala was my main programming language. I use Amazon S3 for storage and EMR EC2 for computation. I use the 15 node clusters and the average runtime was around one hour, 43 minutes. Some of the challenges that I would like to highlight are cleaning up the large amount of free text nodes with special characters is always uh, challenging. 
second second uh, setting up the distributed environment is always little difficult especially while debugging the software code which runs in multiple nodes in parallel last but not least the sparks implementation of lda is currently experimental and not properly tuned and that's why these steps in the entire process actually took maximum amount of time in concluding this project validates the claim made by the previous work that including lda definitely improves performance along with time varying event from the lab diagnostics and the medication data which was introduced in this project even though i did run this experiment using various models more experiment needs to be done by varying different parameters of svm which i use and possibly other classification algorithm this is because of having limited time for this project i didn't try multiple algorithms last but not least this project is designed and developed in such a way that my work can be easily extended for other similar work and it can be reused for more experiments in future before finishing i would like to thank all the tas and professor for their support during this entire course this is a very exciting field of study and research i would definitely participate in any future engagement if i get an opportunity in coming days now before i end i would just like to say thank you and bye for now